kids. Today I'm going to tell you about wow art. That is going to be one of our focuses for the new year is to make sure that you have wow art. So when you think about it, you're like, huh, this word should probably make me say wow. That's true. Also, there's a few other steps here. I spent more than one class on this piece of art. Or you could also see that it says I improved, fixed, or perfected something on it. I am proud of this artwork. I can write a great artist statement on it. Or this artwork shows my growth as an artist. So when you're looking at your wow art, think about those steps. If you forget, you can always take a look up here. If you look at the different pieces so far, it's a lot of work that's very detailed, that took more than one class, they took their time, they reflected and thought about it. Oh, what can I add? This one has value different shades of one color, not just one color, they took their time to do some blending. This has a lot of different designs to it with the lines, but then there's texture added by rubbing. This one's colored so nicely. They didn't rush, took their time, and had a lot of creativity with it. This person used more than one technique, regular coloring, but also the oil pastel resist technique using the white crayon or oil pastel, the wax is in there and it pushes it off. So that's when you paint over it, you have the blue. Um, printing and this abstract piece is lots going on, a lot of movement, a lot of color, a lot of blending. Now, I'm not sure if you see this, but the artist statement, you can get the artist statement on the iPad holder. They look like this. And you have to answer a few questions. Artist name, what challenges did you have that require problem solving? How did you figure out a problem in your artwork? Title of your art, which is good because we're about to have our fine arts night soon in April. So you're gonna all title a piece of your work and hopefully you can pick a piece of your work. Also, what inspired you? Which studio habit of mine did you use most and why? What was your favorite part of creating your art? So these are on top of the iPad holder right over here. All right, so make sure you're focusing on wow art from this point on. We're about to talk about your goals in art. A goal is something you set your mind to. Maybe you're not so good at drawing. Maybe you, you are good at drawing, but you don't draw a lot of different things. So start expanding your horizons and think about more things. It could be about painting. Maybe you want to try mixed media. Maybe you want to do a different type of collage, okay? And remember, mixed media is doing more than one thing. For instance, I could do a painting, but then I collage on top of it. Start joining two different styles of art together. Work on photography with the iPads. Um, use more than one app with a picture, and that's called app smashing. With sculpture, maybe start with some smaller pieces instead of just the large ones. So think about what your goal in art should be as well to help drive your wow art. And that's it for today.